Well, hey, folks, this is Justin from CartoonSmart.com. And uh, hey, if you're not listening to me on the uh, iOS or tvOS app we have, well, you should get it, okay? You can just go to uh, bit.ly, L-Y, slash CartoonSmart and find it. All right, so we're going to go through a bunch of uh, Xcode tips here, just sort of like workflow things that uh, took me a little while to stumble onto when I was, was a beginning developer. And uh, I think this will uh, be useful if, you've, uh, if you don't know. So let's go through here and... And uh, you're just looking at one of the projects that I've already done. And obviously, there's a lot of code already in here. And that's sort of the point is uh, we're going to look at some ways to organize stuff. So, for example, you can see that, uh, you know, just scrolling up and down here. That's that's that in itself is a lot of code. But uh, this is actually just one uh, Swift file of many that make up the game scene class. And you can see I've organized these by files or kind of topics. Uh, so, for example, here's our main one, game scene dot Swift. And what I'll what I'll do is I'll make a new Swift file. And of course, you can just do that over here at any time. Just go to file new. And uh, then I'll just extend the class. Okay. So you just write over here extension game scene. So whatever the main class was, and obviously you can see that right there, game scene, right? Uh, and then you just kind of begin writing your code like normal. So you just do an opening and closing bracket, and then you can put all your functions inside of there. Uh, the only, I'd say, tricky part is uh, it, it wants you to uh, just import in stuff that you're going to use again. So just because you imported in Sprite Kit over here in your main uh, .swift file doesn't mean it means you still got to do it over here. So uh, that's uh, that's one big thing uh, that uh, I use to organize things because then I can just kind of you know go oh yeah this was something that had to do with the inventory right so I'll jump over there. Uh, another thing mark okay you can put in here uh, slash slash mark and then your colon and then you can leave a little note to yourself that you can quickly find over oh don't know why I didn't. Oh, because I'm in the wrong one. There it is. Um, see, workflow tip. Uh, sort rewards, right? So, uh, yeah, you can see that. Uh, and these actually, I don't even think are the best marks that I've put in here. Because when I go through things, uh, you know, I, 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 I sort of need something like this. Watch. I'll, I'll go and put a bunch of hash marks in here with a, yeah, so there you go. They're dash marks. Uh, and now it kind of pulls it off to the side a little bit. And I, and I think for me that helps, you know, I should have done it on all these other ones inside of here, but, um, uh, and then you can kind of just scan through here and go, okay, all right, there's where we're adding to the inventory and things like that. And then if you really want to get sort of fancy with stuff, you can even go and you can, um, you know, if you, if you go find some emojis, right? This is just the messages app. So you can go and type in here, you know, something that kind of makes sense for you. It, there's a little game icon, right? Let's copy this guy out. And then you can paste those guys in there as well. And uh, that's not going to mess anything up. In fact, you can even program with emojis, but I, I wouldn't recommend doing it. But uh, anyway, so if that is what catches your eye, you know, maybe a better one would be something like, I've got a sword over here, right? So, you know, if it's it's something that has to do with attacking, uh, you could throw that in there. So anyway, that is one of the ways I try to keep up with a project that just, you know, ends up having thousands of lines of code. I think it's absolutely essential that you do some sort of breaking up of the files themselves. And then of course, inside of here, just organizing things. Oh, and one last tip for this video, watch this. Um, if you try to try to come up with some sort of, uh, you know, internal Bible in your own head for the way that you name your functions, right? Uh, and a good example here would be, you know, just starting a function with something like add, right? Add to. Uh, and then what you can do is just and I'm not pressing anywhere, I'm just typing on the keyboard, just you begin typing and then it'll just, it'll kind of just search through the function names for you, what you put in there. Okay. So, you know, if you're thinking, oh yeah, that's, I need to do something with adding to the inventory or adding to this or whatever it is, you just type in add to, and then it gives you what you're looking for. And of course you can do the same thing, you know, uh, throughout the entire project, right? You know, that, and that can help as well, you know, type in here, add to, and you'll, you'll come across you know, all your functions and everything like that. And a lot of times, I mean, I'll do this just as much as I'll do that over there. And I'll, I'll go, oh, well, I know I'm looking for the function. So then I got to look in the ones that are, you know, you can do something like that, right? So anyway, and that's just a, a simple matter of hitting Command F just to go and find uh, those keywords. All right, I'll come back with another video so you guys don't get tired of, you know, one long video here.